We're gonna toss on some boots and head on down to the deer dealer because uh, I just got a call. They've been open for a week and we need some equipment. I'm a rolling stone bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Or in rain, or to hear that train. There's a girl, won't you get on? Watch the trees fall in the leaves Like the breeze, won't you blow on? Well, welcome back to the series, everybody. This is episode number two. I bought this 8110. Uh, a couple days ago, has around 5,000 hours. It is green star ready, even though it has an ag leader in it. It's perfect, got the 1,000 PTO, four hydraulics in the back. It's a, just a good running tractor. I mean, there's very little rust on it. It's got six front weights. It's got 450 rear weights on the inner, inner tires and stuff, but we kind of need some bigger tractors around here. So I'm trying to keep this series similar to what I have in real life for equipment, but I just realized like these are some big fields and we're gonna need some bigger equipment. So. We're gonna head on down to the deer dealer and check that out. Looks like it's pretty busy in town today too. Is that a 71? That looks like a 71 F100 right there. Hey, what's the hold up here? Come on, man. Idiot. We're gonna tailgate him. This guy just pulled out in front of me. We gotta talk some sense into this guy. Hey! Pull over! Pull over! Hey man! What on? Do you realize you just pulled out you, in front of me? Do you realize that you had your turn signal on and you slowed down? You're running me off the road, Bucko. You cut What's through your the problem? stop sign. Yeah, because the guy ran me off the road. What do you want me to do? Roll down the Run window. Roll down the window so I can see your face. I'm not gonna roll down. You ran, ran, you ran me off the road. What is your problem? You ran through a stop sign and blocked that car. Yeah, because he ran me off the road. Okay, man. You I'm wanna take this to outside? Back to my chicken. Uh, no, not really, because I gotta get back to work. Well, just don't be an idiot next time. I'm not the idiot here, Bucko. Hey, I, I do gotta say, you do have a pretty nice truck, man. I gotta shake your hand for that one. I try to take care of her. What's your name, by the way? Buck. Buck, I'm Grant. Nice to meet you. It's your butt. How you, how you doing? Good, good. What do you Rather do for a living? Farm out. chickens? But uh, I actually am the head manager of Wood River Equipment out there out of town. No way. Huh? I was uh, actually on my way down to Wood River. Huh, interesting. You might have to go talk to Tim. I'll be out there in about half an hour or so. As I said, I was trying to get this stuff home. So that way I could at least get the chickens fed. But... No, someone had to run me off the okay, road. Okay, yeah, I, po I apologize about that, but uh, that was just both of our faults. But anyways, man, that's pretty cool. Your general manager at Wood River? Yeah, I run all the locations out of Saunders, Moore, uh, Flint Hills, and now this area. We haven't gotten this one on the map very much yet because it just opened last week. Um, inventory is still kind of a little bit iffy or whatnot, but we got a couple more things uh, shifting over from other stores as well as the distributors themselves are starting to bring out a handful more things. We do have a few more brands that we're trying to get distributed. So wow, do you guys? It's all up in the air. Yeah, you have a business card or anything I could take? Get your contact. Um, yeah, here you go. The name should be on the back of there. That's my extension to, in essence, call the office phone. I'm kind of an all-around guy. I, I work my way up from uh, ground up, pretty much. Well, awesome. I'm gonna heck. I'm gonna go back there. I just uh, just had to comment on some driving, but uh, no, that was kind of my fault. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was kind of my fault. Um, anyways, man, like the truck. I like the truck. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, I'll see you. I'll see you. Hey, out hey, there hold on. Hold on. Out. I got to take a picture of the truck. I got to send this to my buddy, Craig. Why? Is he like the old 71, 72s? Yeah. Yeah. No, he, uh, he's, uh, he's an anti Chevy guy. He's an all four guy. It's weird. Oh, geez. He's one of those guys. Okay. Just smile. Uh... Okay. Got it. Anyways, we'll see all you right, down bud. there. Take care. I'll be back up there in about 20 minutes or so. Okay. Honestly, that guy was a pretty nice guy. Sounds like he was just trying to feed his chickens. Well, heck, Wood River Equipment. We must have... It must be right up ahead here somewhere. Somewhere in town. Besides, it kind of looks like he's driving a Prius or something back there. Ooh-wee. That's pretty nice. 
He's got a Kubota 95. They've got a couple of vertical tillage tools might not be interested in. Ooh, 4020 too. My gosh. With a hinker cap. Steiger. 8320. A couple of Demcos. Gosh dang, this place has it all. Oh, they got an 8RX to a f oh, 370, so it's not the 410. Dang. Is that a 7R or 8R? Looks like a 7R. 310. All weighted out. Well, let's go park the truck up at the... We'll go talk to a salesman or somebody. Maybe we can... My question is, where's the customer parking at? Let's just be up front here. Hours. They're open for 30 more minutes. Oh, wear a mask. Are you kidding me? Got to wear a mask in here? Ah, screw it. We're not going to wear a mask. Oh, hey, Buck. Oh, hey. hey, how you doing? Do we have to actually have to wear a mask in here or no? No, that's just from that when they had the whole mandate about two months ago. We haven't done that here. Actually, we never really enforced it at all as long as because we have everybody stay six feet apart. So, oh, sweet. You, you're more. It's pretty much a, if you want to wear one, you can. Awesome. OK, just wasn't sure that COVID stuff. That's a That's a little scary situation. I just I, at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah. If, yeah. It, if it gets me, it gets me. Uh, so well, technically, what can I help you with here today, bud? Well, shoot. I didn't know the place was going to be this nice. Where's the champagne? Uh, we already um, had that happen. You missed out. Okay. Fresh out. <laughs> huh. You can go pro you can probably go check the trash cans, and there's a couple bush lights in them, but eh, that's about it. That'll do. That'll do. I'm just trying to make sure we can get it stocked up orders, because i got to get all these shells back. Oh, shoot, let me on. shut the door. Don't want all the flies right. and stuff getting in here. Um, yeah, i got to get all these shelves stacked with... Um, Power steering and motor oil. Just well, bought I'm or... kind of interested in big, uh, big, some type of big tillage tractor. Oh, you know, what are we talking? Nine R, eight R? Are we talking five section, three sections? Man, I don't know. A... You you sell me on something because I could either go wheels, I could go tracks, I could go an RX series. I, I just don't know. Well, let's uh, take on a little trip outside. I kind of also got to know your budget since. That's uh, an important yeah. thing, so we're not dropping, you know, well, $5 million. Dollars yeah, here. no, here's the deal. I'm considering buying another farm. If I don't buy another farm, then I got a little more money to spend on equipment. I should probably buy the other farm, so I should probably keep it conservative a little bit on equipment. Okay, um, the 4020. How much you got this thing listed for? Uh, this one we actually just got in yesterday. Uh, not, not yesterday. We got this one in Monday. Monday. Um, I have not gotten this thing priced out yet, but I do know that it actually was a um, auger tractor most of its life. So it's got a lot of engine hours on it for about 3300 but it, it's a field horse. It'll get your work done. The guy loved to use this thing. The way my dad always said it, it's not a John Deere farmer if you don't have a 4020 sitting around in the shed. So uh, we sold his though. So I need to get one soon. You are, come on, man. What on earth? Okay, are you how thinking? much do you have it listed for? I know we got the thing sitting at about 19.5, at least to my knowledge. Okay. Can you put it on hold for the next hour? Because I think I'm going to take you. I just got to look around a little more. Well, to put it on hold, we're going to have to have a down payment on it. So, okay. Well, just if another guy walks in in the next hour, I'll rush to it and buy it before he comes in. It's all good. Uh, okay. I'd like a, like a 9000 series. Probably not an 8000 series, but some type of 9000 series. It could be tracked, hey, wheeled. We got, this is our 2018 80 yeah, 45 That's a little too new for about. me. Little tune. Boy, this thing is beautiful. Why do you no, not want too, this thing? It's a little too new, is it? I want. I mean, well, that's. Do you have like uh, a, I'm not. You have like a. 9400 or 9420 not to my not i have one in my back shed but that's our that's our snow rig i got this 2014 989r up here though so this we've had we shipped this one over from flint hills uh, they just yeah. got the yeah, 9460 so we got this thing shipped in from the flint hills location about um a week ago we just got it in today so this is we've had this one out here a while 20 up oh, I guess uh, Jake's out here from the co-op. I got my def go I got my def ordered in. Yeah, yeah, he delivered fuel to me the other day too. Yeah, Jake, he's oh. a nice guy. Wait, wait, you know Jake? Yeah, yeah, no, I met him the other day. He uh, he drives that Dodge Dually. It's got like half a million miles on hey, it too. Hang on, wait Something a minute. Like that. Hold up, hold the phone. Jake, I know Jake back from K 
County lot from Moore and all that stuff because he used to run the co-op. Huh. Are you that same guy that's from New York? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Oh, my. Went to New York and then Iowa and then they... Uh, <laughs> Gosh dang! I'm the same dude. I'm I'm the bug. I'm the guy that ran the other that oh, dealer. Oh, you're bug. That's me. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Oh my! You screwed okay. me a lot of deal. No. Oh, did I now? <laughs> no, I'm just did joking. You, did, did you you're get, a good hey, salesman. <laughs> I see green. I see a green on your profit. You're still running. You're <laughs> yeah, doing we're fine. Still, we're still doing good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But so this is probably the best tillage tractor we have. That's big but not expensive. We have this mm. thing listed at. About two hundred and eighty thousand right now. Gosh dang, it's, how's Buck Jr. doing? I haven't seen him forever. He's holding up just fine right now. He's actually a sophomore in high school, so wow. he's got yeah. Play, it's been play, a bit. Plays all the sports and Yeah, he played it though for freshman year, but after that he kinda said, I'm gonna try some stuff else. He didn't really care for it. Jeez, is he still playing that farm and similar game? You still got him? Yeah, up? he's trying to play this. He's trying to play it. And he's playing around, thinking some guys from Iowa or something. Well, at least it gives him something to do. Yeah. Gives him something to dream about later on in life. Yeah. But uh, like I said, that this is basically about the only thing that we have out here that would probably be either a within your budget or b uh, just practicality of what you're trying to do. I personally don't have a. I just sold my Ripper to Jake yesterday on a lease. Mm -hmm. So that that was a five section fifty footer. Hmm. Uh, but I do have a case disc over there, which that thing can at least get some of your field tillage done. But I, and also this 27, I believe 2790 ripper over here, but you're going to need yeah. at least again, a nine R to get things done. This thing is pretty much almost brand new. The tines hmm. on it. We had this thing out for demo last fall when the guy had corn done, he was just trying to get some of the stocks out of the field. So he used this up. We just didn't really get the, uh, the discs repainted. So could you check at other dealerships? Like I would. I would consider like a, say you got a 8430T, something like that. That wouldn't be bad. Or if you got a 9420, 9400. The only thing that I could think of, and again, we Steiger, been... I could maybe look into some red. Okay, so we said we're going to do the uh, 4020 for 19.5. You're going to buy that out or you're just going to lease it? No, we're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. Okay. Yep, cash. Buy that one cash. Um, what did we decide for on the tractor? What do you have? Do you have any... I kind of want a 9,000 series, like a 20, a 20 series, 9,000 model. You I got anything call, at other dealers? That's hmm. all the way over in Iowa. I called um, Daryl over in, I could probably, no, I'll just give him a, actually, hang on, I'm going to go on my service phone quick. Okay. Follow me back if you want. Yeah. I don't care. You got a seat. Okay, I'll sit down here. Yep. All right. Let me call up. Hey, Daryl, it's Buck down here at um, Wood River for, uh, in essence, you know, for your county location. Uh, do we have anything up at Flint Hills for a 9,000 9, series deer four-wheel drive? Uh, you say we got one over in Saunders? Oh, that's kind of surprising. I actually don't have one. Uh, do you happen to know the model of that one? 9520? Triples on it? Hey, hey, how many hours? How many hours have we got on that thing? Thirty-two ninety-five, somewhere around there. Thirty-three hundred. I thirty thirty-three hundred. Yeah, thirty-three hundred hours. That's not bad. Is it, what does it got in the rear? Is it got just a draw bar? Oh, got three point. What do we got it listed at? Hundred and thirty thousand. That's not half bad. Hold on, with hundred and thirty, would you guys take one twenty for it? No. Cash? No. One thirty firm. It's the lowest we can go. Just like the old days, Buck. Yep, I am a stinkler on this one. Well, we'll take it then. Come bring the tractor back. It'd be later today, like way later. Okay. But I can get it in. Awesome. Here, let me, um, uh, you got a pen? Yeah, there's one right there in the cup. Um, okay. The bill of sale for said vehicles all together. Do you just want to write one lump sum or do you want to split it up? No, I'll write it lump sum. Okay, so the tractor out there, 19.5. And we'll just, uh, that'll include your sales taxes and everything. We just kind of bundle everything together. Plus the 183. I know. We got 19.5 out there for the 84.20. Plus 130. 130. That's going to round you up to 149.500. Okay. But with the shipping cost of an extra 2,500 bucks, just for me to go out there and get it, that'll bring you up to 152 even. So 152, make it out to Wood River, right? 
Okay, there you go. Um, you can wire transfer that. Let me get you a copy on our new copy machine that actually exists now. I don't have to make the beep beep sounds. There you go. There's your copy. Here's my copy. I'll get this all filed away, and I got to get on the road. Okay. Appreciate it, Buck. Hey, uh, right. where's the bathroom at, man? I just ate something horrible. Um, there's an outhouse in the rear. We're still getting a little bit of stuff done here. <laughs> just do it on Toby's desk. I, Toby. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> we actually, ha actually, we have one out in the shop. Okay. Go okay. around the cor go around the corner of that service shop out there, and there'll be one to the left. Okay. Perfect. I gotta get this thing over to Jake, so I'll catch you later, bud. It'll be sometime, probably around. Uh, it'd be a 10 o'clock trip by the time I get back if I make it quick. Okay, we'll see you, Buck. Got the 9520. Basically, what I was looking for, I was more looking for a 9420. Heck, I'd even. I think the 9520 is a little more rare, actually. But uh, any, anyways, we ended up getting the 9520. That thing's weighed out has three point PTO, which is actually. To have a PTO on a 9520 is surprising. That's a 500 horse tractor. Um, but they didn't have much for tillage equipment. Basically, what I'm looking for is the biggest cultivator I can find uh, for that 9520. There's a case store down the road that has a cultivator. It's like a 62 foot cultivator. It'd be perfect for that. And I'm going to check it out. I know we're mixing red and green, but why not check it out? Wait a sec. I saw a tractor go by right by my house. Is that what I think it is? She's got triples on her. I don't know how the heck he didn't take them off. He still got them on, that crazy son of a gun buck. Yup, there she is, the 9520. She's a little dirty though. I'm guessing he'll clean her up for me before we take it. We'll see though. Well, I saw you go past my place. I was just saying, I, I saw you tailgating me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna be able to clean her up a bit? Would you? Would you? I mean, I can't. Um, I mean, I, 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 are you talking like full blown? No, just spray her off some of the dirt. Get the stuff. tires. Are, yeah, I can. I can do that. But uh, do you have a trailer to haul that forty twenty home? I don't. I was wondering if you had something, or you could drive it behind me if you want. Um. Do you guys have anything at the dealer? Yeah. Okay. Could we load that uh, up too then? Yeah, you know how to drive this thing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll go get the trailer out of the back then. Okay. Because I got a trailer that should be able to haul that thing. So here's the big beast. The 9520, she's got triples on her. I think what we'll do is we'll use it for tillage and possibly like a grain cart in the fall. We'll see. Jump in her here. It's got the buddy seat. He didn't tell me it had the buddy seat. It's power shift, of course. It's got the 2630 monitor. She is loaded. 3,500 hours on her too. She is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just drive it there. We're going to pick up the fuel cultivator at Case over there. We should be good. There's Buck with the trailer. We'll shift up a bit. There we go. You want to watch my fenders? Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be. Dang, that's tighter than I thought. Keep going. Keep going. Here you go. Right over the axles. She is so what? Oh yeah. Is that a 550 or 450? Five. Oh, you got the wood. Oh, nice. How many of these trucks you got? Two of them. Not the flatbed. We got one of them that's this, and then got the other one's a service that's in the back shop. Okay. That's from when we got all of our in-field services. Which actually, if you check on the website, we do have that open now. We do allow you to schedule parts and site service and maintenance stuff online, and you can get us out there, and we'll get the truck out to you ASAP. Okay. Well, shoot. Do you have? Uh, I'm I, so I'm gonna stop and pick up a fuel cultivator on the on the way. So you go ahead. Uh, I bought a case, 62 foot fuel cultivator. Oh, did you go talk to uh, Lance down at Titan? Yeah, yeah. He was a good guy. Yeah, he sold me. Nice. Good price. So, yeah. Yeah, we do uh, we do periodical business with that case dealer every now and then. Okay. Kind of work together in terms of inventory. Gotcha. Weird, gotcha. but yeah. Well, shoot. Deliver it to the place, and I'm sure I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there, bud. So yeah, I think top gear on this thing's only like 20 or 22 mile an hour, so uh, it might be a long drive home, which is pretty quick for a four wheel drive. There Buck goes. Okay, we'll shift up here, hit road gear. There we go. The cultivator should be in the back of case somewhere back here. We'll find it. Put her in reverse. Keep going. Ah, uh, we got a little ways here. I'll lower the jack, too. 
There we go. We got her. I got all three hydraulics connected. We should be good. This is a big cultivator. 62 foot. It's basically brand new, so everything should be working on it. It's even got the rolling baskets in the back, which should work nice if we get dry conditions where it's just starting to clump up when you're cult field cultivating. Those baskets should kind of break apart some of those clumps, so that'll be nice. Hit road speed. There we go. Okay, oh, hey, <laughs> there's Buck. Now this is gonna be a little tight. Oh gosh, we're gonna go for it. It's gonna be close. So Width-wise, I think we're good. Height-wise, it's gonna be close. <laughs> That's where we are. This, I'd say we got about five inches until it hits. I think we're good. We should be good though. Wow. Wow, that is close. Okay, we're solid. And Buck's got the 4020. It's a 4020 diesel power shift. He just got that delivered. I think for now, I'm just going to... Well, we'll put it in here. I'll open the side door. We'll put it in the side door. Well, seriously, guys, thanks for watching this one. And I think I'm going to have uh, dinner and then head to bed. So seriously, thanks for watching, guys. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.